So are there limits to free speech? And if cell phones or Facebook should be regulated, who decides and how far do they go? I want to bring in our guest panel. We've got uh, Mitchell Langberg. He's a trial attorney and an expert on freedom of speech. He's in our LA Bureau. And also social media guru, Jeff Jarvis, who joins us from New York. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, Jeff, first of all, is there ever a case for the authorities to interrupt services like Facebook or telecom services? Essentially, no. This is speech, and speech is, um, is sacred as far as I'm concerned. And let's not forget, we don't know what these tools really are. To say that it's a telephone is wrong. It's much more than a telephone. It's the press, it's the Gutenberg press in everyone's pocket. And so we really have to stand behind, I think, much higher principles of free speech and understanding what this really means to the public. And to try to cut it off, the problem here is the governments, I think, are trying to demonize this technology. They're afraid of it. They're thinking it's being used against them. And in some cases, of course, it is. But that's what we, the people, have a right to do. Are they and blaming the services the sometimes for, 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 the, for, for things that the criminals are doing? They're blaming the services inappropriately sometimes. Is that your view? Yes. And, and that if you cut off the bad, you cut off the good. It's a blunderbuss approach to this that there may be people in these places who are trying to call a doctor, who are trying to report the news, who are trying to do many things. And to use this to cut it off, what it does is David Cameron, for example, or BART finds itself in the same boat as Mubarak. And that's not where free governments want to be. Mitchell Langberg, what's your view? It's not the same boat at all. We can, we can see a big difference between what Jeff said occurred with BART what occurred in London last week and what occurs in the Middle East is, as people who are virtually freedom fighters are fighting their way. And, and some, it comes down to, first, whether we're dealing with a relatively free government, as we are in the UK and the United States, or a regime, as we did in, in Egypt. And the other issue is, what is it that's prompting this, con this, this shutdown? In BART, they were trying to stop a protest. That, that was probably way too far under our First Amendment. In London, there was already existing uh, violence going on. And even under the U.S. standards, which are much more stringent, the government can inhibit speech when there's an imminent threat of lawless behavior. So that's exactly what's happened. That's exactly what the government in London is, uh, in, in the U.K., is thinking about regulating. And it's appropriate. There is a balancing that has to go. The, 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 the free speech rights, whether in the United States or in the U.K., are not limitless. They're not absolute. Jeff, can I say what you're I'm doing sorry, is you're Jeff, cutting off principles. everyone. Yeah. You want to cut off a few who are, who are violating laws that already exist, and those laws are there, and you can prosecute them under those laws. But on the basis of this fear that is technology, you're going to cut off the rights and the use that we all have of this technology because you're blaming the technology, which is a Luddite view of this and doesn't hold. But Jeff, yes, I'm sorry, but this does put Cameron in the same boat as Mubarak trying to shut off the internet. Let's break this down and make it a bit less academic. Let's just take an example. A, a police officer in Manchester sees that there's some sort of incitement on Facebook. There's a guy that says, right, we're going to organize a riot down the road. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is for an hour, say. Uh, I'll let you know in an hour. And then suddenly everyone's uh, talking about that event. And it's pretty clear that that event is going to kick off. The police can stop it happening by shutting down the service. So no, they that, can't. That's, that's, they, that's the problem. Is didn't Mubarak learn that he couldn't shut down his revolution by shutting down the entire internet? But on a one internet. particular case, you know, he, uh, one particular riot, they can stop that particular riot. No, that, they can't. You're making an assumption though. they can. They won't stop it. Period. But, it won't. But the rest it's of the people being yes, they can. communicated they aren't going to know where it is. The, listen, the government has a job to try to protect people. And they've got to balance the rights of people against that job. And when there is an imminent threat of lawless behavior, especially dangerous lawless behavior, then under, in the United States, we call it a time, place, or manner restriction. There's, for a limited time, there's a certain kind of uh, speech that's being limited. And the gov because the government has a significant interest in it, and there's no less restrictive alternative, it's perfectly appropriate. And, and the conduct of the rules need to catch up with the technology. And that's one of the oh, problems I, I think, here. I think, Jeff's idea is... Jeff's idea I is think great have the laws I'm a have big the... fan of... Fr okay, uh, um, yep, yeah, carry on. Sorry, uh, Jeff, one second. Just carry on your, th your thought. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the First Amendment here, the free speech rights. But the fact of the matter is, is that in principle, they're a good idea. 
and in practice they need to be protected, but they can't okay. be absolute. Jeff knows that. When there's a police officer involved in uh, going to somebody's house on a domestic okay. dispute, he's not going to let people pick up the phone. That's free speech too. Okay. There uh, are limits. Mitchell, and I just can't say it's absolute. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Mitchell. Uh, Jeff, I just want to ask you, um, this is a debate that everyone's having. The problem is uh, the services we're talking about are privately run. So who's going to decide this in the end? What's going to happen? I wrote a book called Public Parts coming out soon in which I argue that these are decisions that we, the people, the citizens of the Internet, need to make above and apart from government and corporations. These are principles we have to talk about. This is our Gutenberg press in the pocket, I'll say again. And we, these are precious tools of publicness that we have. And so I think we need to have the kind of discussion we're having right now, but have it not in the specifics of one episode or one hypothetical or one law even, but instead these are principles of humanity that we must discuss going forward in a new world. Okay, Jeff Jarvis and uh, Mitchell Langberg, thank you both for joining us. The debate continues. We'll be back in a moment.